That's right. We are going to test Prism 3D, Recon 4D, Blender Mobile, and Nomad Scope to see which one is the most optimized app for mobile. And for doing this, I found no way better than having a capacity test with my mobile, which is a Galaxy A73 5G. So let's begin this video and start the challenge of optimization. We will be using this cube for all of our tests, so it will be equal. So I have to create an amount of vertices which is 100,000. Then I will keep duplicating this cube until the app crashes and loses the ability to handle the amount of vertices. So let's first do the test for no man's cut. So I tried to reach a determined number of vertices. Now it's the time to clone the cubes to see how many cubes can no man's cup handle. The app has been very smooth so far, and the vertices number is now 2 million, which means we can keep going. So I will select all the cubes I added and duplicate them all at once. Once again, and you can see it's about 7 million vertices and it's still capable of more cubes. It is completely obvious that the app can go much more far and there is a memory bar which shows the RAM that the app is currently using. So I will keep adding cubes until the memory bar becomes red and the screen recorder stops working. So we are literally hitting 20 million vertices with this one. So I will disable the screen recorder to get the most performance from my phone. And I will show you the final screenshot. <laughs> 30 million of vertices. Nomad's Cup is currently the number one. Now it's time for Recon 4D to show itself. So let's import the same cube I used for Nomad's Cup. It takes just a little bit to import it. And as you can see, there is an insane amount of 100,000 vertices in this cube. Now let's keep duplicating the cubes and counting them to get the final result. However, I will disable the screen recording in the end, so I will get the real performance of my device. Recon 40 also is easily handling the cubes and copying them in no time. But as you can see, after a few seconds of duplicating, the app is getting slow, but it is still maintaining a little of stability. So now let's disable the screen recording and get the final result. So the final result for Recon 4D is 3.7 million vertices. Will Prism 3D be higher? Let's find out. So I'm importing the same queue for Prism 3D, but it takes a little more than I expected to import. And after importing, we have our queue with 100k vertices. So I will do the same process for Prism 3D. However, it takes so long to duplicate this queue in this app. After a few minutes, I found out that I've added 12 cubes to the app. So I closed the screen recorder to get the final result. And here it is. And Prisma 3D gets the third place by 2.4 million vertices. But how about Blender Mobile? The Blender beat Prisma 3D despite the fact that it's running through an emulator which reduces the performance and overall capability. Let's find out. Blender Mobile is already taking too much time to import the cube, but finally here it is. Fortunately we got an accurate vertex counter, so we don't have to keep counting the cubes. I will start duplicating until the app stops working. So we are hitting 1 million vertices here and in the next recording I have 2 million vertices. You can see the app is getting a little bit slow but it's alright and the final result is showing Blender with 2.5 million vertices. It's really crazy how Blender Mobile is more optimized than Prisma 3D for mobile. So let's say congratulations for our winners in the first place, second place and third place. Thanks for watching this video, stay low poly, and of course, come back soon. No